consumer alert tonight. A retired law enforcement officer is taking a prominent mobile car dealership to court. Tonight, he is warning others so his story doesn't happen to you. NBC 15's Justin Moore is live in Mobile tonight. Uh, Justin, his car was stolen from the dealership secured lot. Well, guys, the car was actually behind that gated lot right behind me here at the Nissan of Mobile dealership. Now, there are still a lot of unanswered questions tonight surrounding what happened to this car. I was uh, in a state of shock. That's how this 70-year-old felt after a call from Nissan of Mobile. I received a call that they couldn't find my car. James Williams received the call back in February of 2018, just days after dropping off his rare souped up 1994 Nissan ZX twin turbo engine car for repairs, one similar to this one, a car he invested $80,000 in over 20 years. A lot of people probably would have gotten angry and went out there and cussing and clowning and carrying on, but that's not going to get you anywhere. The car was taken from the gated lot at the dealership. The key was still inside a locked box inside the facility. There were no cameras at the facility to capture how it was broken into or who drove the car off the lot. The retired Alabama State Trooper contacted Mobile PD, but he says the officer working his case quickly dismissed it. That's got to be disheartening. It was disheartening. It was very disheartening. Williams filed this lawsuit against Nissan on Mobile after it declined to reimburse him. He represented himself in county court and was granted the max of $10,000. These large businesses, they need to be held accountable just like small businesses of uh, each one of us. Court documents show there were at least 12 cars stolen from the Nissan of Mobile between 2017 and 2018. Some of those cases have never been solved. I never got an apology from the dealership. The senior VP of Group One Automotive, which is the parent company for Nissan of Mobile, says he regrets the car was stolen and the staff takes great care of safety and security, but things do happen. For me to be treated the way that I was, it was a shame. Now, William says he hopes by sharing his story, it will help someone else. Live in Mobile tonight, Justin Moore, NBC 15 News.